For our final problem on the quiz review, we also have an a value that's greater than one. Notice that there's a six in front of my squared term. So we need to use the slide and divide method where we begin by taking the a, sliding it to the end and multiplying it by c. Six times 14 is 84. So we can rewrite our new quadratic as a squared plus 25a plus 84. Now let's set up an x method problem. We wanna find two numbers that multiply to our uh, c value of 84 and that add to the 25. I'm going to list my factors of 84 off to the side here. One times 84, two goes into 84 42 times. If we take 84 divided by 3, that's 28. If we do 84 divided by 4, that's 21. 84 divided by 6 is 14. 84 divided by 7 is 12. 8 does not go into 84. Neither does 9 or 10, or 11, so that's all of our factor pairs. And you can see that the two that add to 25 are four and 21. Four times 21 is 84, and four plus 21 is 25. But don't forget to divide. We did the slide, now we have to divide by a from the original expression, which here is six. So take each of your factors, divide them by six, and then let's simplify the fractions. 4 over 6 reduces to 2 over 3. If we do uh, 4 divided by 2, that's 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 21 and 6 are both divisible by 3. So 21 divided by 3 is 7, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that fraction reduces to 7 over 2. And now we're ready to write out our two factors. My variable is a, so I'm going to start with a plus 2 thirds as one of my factors and then a plus seven over two as the other. The denominator of the fractions, we can slide up in front of our variable. So this would make three a plus two as one factor. And then if we slide that one up, we have two a plus seven. That's our factored form. Now, if we look at our answer choices, remember they might be in the opposite order, which it looks like this choice right here is in the reverse order. If I switch these around and put the 2a plus 7 first, that matches, and then the 3a plus 2 matches. This is the last problem on the quiz review. Make sure after you submit this assignment, you review your attempts, and if you got any wrong, you're definitely gonna wanna go back and watch the video for that problem. You should have 100% on this assignment before you move on to the quiz. Thanks for watching and good luck on your quiz later. Bye.